Paper Piano Adventures, level 5, pages 24 and 25. The song is Autumn Ballad. Let's take a listen to it, then we'll talk about the details. Let's talk about a couple things in this. One thing that's going on in this piece is we're playing in 3-4 time, and a couple times as we're playing through, I believe it's changing um, time signatures. So you, you need to watch out for that. We'll be playing in 3-4 time, and then down here on the fourth bar, we'll go to 4-4 four, four time, and then we'll come back to 3-4 time. And then on the second page, we're jumping in using a lot of these 16th notes. So <clears throat> be ready to play a little bit faster in those areas. So a couple things, if you were counting this, if you were going one and two and three and, let's just say that that was your speed, um, one and two and three and one and two and three and, so that's something you can do to get the feel of the pace of this piece. You can put your metronome on, I have it at 76, one and two and three and 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 so you could do that um, but you want to be able to put your own kind of emotion into this instead of playing it square like a robot you want to keep time but you can kind of push and pull in areas and uh, pull out a little bit more of that emotion um, watch out for <clears throat> uh, was it measure 13 so it's the first measure of the second page. Um, they have a little mark up there that says means more motion or faster. So those are those 16th notes we're talking about as we're finishing at the end of the first page. And then here it comes. things about that part, you've got a lot of these accent marks through that part. Um, and you'll notice you can hear my pinky as I'm playing. So rotate your wrist and hit your pinky hard on those. Um, a few times your fourth finger will have to accent the notes. And at the very end, the starting of the 19th measure, we get a crescendo, but it's also a multi retardando, so we're supposed to be slowing down a bunch at the end there. So as I'm playing through this part, um, and then you go back to the original tempo. You'll notice that the ending is pretty much repeating at the first page. So try to be able to, to do a little pushing and pulling. Don't play it exactly square, and you'll have a little bit more emotional expression. And then the uh, very last bar of the first page, it's one other part. We have a crescendo at the end of that. So we're playing. And then drop back just a little bit, beginning of the second page to a mezzo forte. <clears throat> and remember your accents. At the very end, we've got another multo retardando, so the last bar. Um, looks at, well actually the last two measures as we're playing through this part and you'll notice it shows a treble clef right before the last measure it says LH2 over bring your second finger over to hit that E flat in the treble clef with the C and G here in the right hand 
Um, that's for the most part. You can see where there are decrescendos and crescendos um, and pedal markings and so forth. So pretty much pedal throughout the entire piece. So be careful with your pedaling. Make sure that you're lifting exactly what they say to lift. Um, other than that, I think you should be pretty good. So good luck with Autumn Ballad.